Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as the recording of this Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. I'm standing here in front of where my family is staying. My aunt and my first cousins are staying here on property. My mom is staying at my place. And we have drove over, my mom and I. We're gonna spend the day on property, a little family time. Gonna hit the pool, gonna hit the hot tub. I am filming on my phone today. Left my G7X at the house, just because I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in the water. Also, I have my Crocs on down here. I'm going full Croc today. I have my bag, I brought my GoPro. So basically gonna do a little pool action. I might rent a bicycle and do a property tour around Saratoga Springs. And I think later I'm gonna try to convince my mom and my aunt the boys are at Universal Studios of Florida today all day, so they're doing their thing there. I'm gonna try to convince my mom and my aunt to possibly do the Skyliner, because my aunt does not have a theme park ticket, she didn't want to go to the theme parks, but it'd be kind of neat to show her around some of the other resorts from a bird's eye perspective. We'll just kind of see how the day goes, and just kind of wing it. I'm in full like, a staycation mode, even though I'm not staying here. Even though I did use my DVC points, have family stay here, I'm in full staycation mode, even though I'm not on staycation. Join me. Good to have you here. Shall you? This is only the second time I've ever worn Crocs. I have the little, whatever the little bling is, a little flare there on the front. I have Mickey. I bought a few different ones, but I opted to have, I think it's called a gibbet. That's what it is, a gibbet plugged in there. And I opted not to have the strap around the back. I put the strap around the front, not to give myself a blister there. But I think the key is if these get wet, let your feet dry off first and let these dry off before putting your dry and wet feet back in the wet Crocs. I'll also give a little property tour as well. So you got the community hall right here. You got a laundry facility, you got horsing around rentals over there where they have the Surrey bikes. Check it out. There goes Woody and Buzz driving by. Stay magical year after year, I will. At this particular resort is Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. And the area that I have booked the room is, is here in the springs. I'm right here. There's a tennis court. There's a boat that goes over to Disney Springs. You go that way, you take a walkway to Springs. Also Congress Park, the paddock, the carousel, the grandstand, carriage house check-in, and the treehouse villas. All that is incorporated into Saratoga Springs. Now, a year or two ago, my mom and I stayed here and we did a full bike tour. And I've stayed over at Old Key West and did a Surrey bike tour before. I think it was another resort I did the Surrey bikes as well. So maybe I won't do a bike taxi today. Maybe I'll just, again, I'm just kind of winging it, so. This always blows my mind how expansive Walt Disney World is. Not just the four theme parks, but there's also two water parks. Disney Springs is like a massive outdoor mall. And then you got the 20, 20 plus, 25, 26, 27, lost count how many actual resorts there are. One thing that's nice about the room that they're in, there's a pool over there where I will be going momentarily, but I'm gonna show the pool over here. There's two pools within walking distance. Resorts right there. And right across the road is one of the Reedy Creek Fire Department buildings. This one's really awesome because they have a fountain out front that looks like a fire hose. Very cool looking building. See how it stretches along the side of the building there? You got the geyser going up from the top of the nozzle. There's also a Disney bus pickup on the other side of this building over there too in the paddock area, which is the next section over from where my family's staying. There's also a water tower themed water slide right there. This is a nice pool too, a smaller pool. I see a turtle. Uh-oh. Family just lost their football in the water over there. 
turtle. Evidently, they got 90 new buses here on property. I don't know how many total buses there are now, but this might be one of the new ones. There's Maribel and the rest of the crew. We can't up. You got the normal buses over there that just has Mickey on it. Mickey on the side of those. Oh my gosh, Donald's over here too. Hello, Donald. Good to see you. You off to the races? <laughs> oh, he's going in there. Get it, get it. They're getting together. Oh. <laughs> Donald's looking over the activities here for April. A lot of good activities on the board today. Find a friend. There you go, you guys found each other. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Looking at the movie Under the Stars. Oh, doing the yoga? I gotta step over here to the winner's circle. Now, this jockey here always seems to be the winner. He's been here for every time I've been here on proper, I think it's maybe the third time I've been here on property and always seen this thing. He's just always the winner right here. This, this guy's just the winner. And this particular section of the property is called the carriage house and is so designated with the carriage right here. So there's different different areas areas of Saratoga Springs. There's a little gift shop general store where you can get an, uh, quite a few different accessories and necessities that you might have forgotten at home. And they also have coffee and snacks and a little quick service and everything. So I got myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage. It's a little cold. It's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. Also, got my magic band, which gets me in the room, but also is waterproof, so I don't need to bring my Kia. How is it? It feels wonderful. Great. I have to get under it. you turn it into prunes yet? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. It feels great. You go down the water slide? No. Want to go down the water slide? No. Remember the one in Hawaii you needed to have the inner tube to go down? Yeah. Yep. All right, up top now. You guys. Mom. There's... Mom! Come on up here. She's not brave enough to do it. You gonna go down this thing? You gonna go down it? All right. Come on up. She doesn't want. She doesn't want to get her hair wet. <laughs> go for it. There she goes. There you go. <laughs> there she goes. All right, my turn. All right, screen. Screen. Going. What would you lose? My glass. You lost your glasses? Thank you. <laughs> How was it? It was wonderful. It was fun. <laughs> Back from the pool now. Considering maybe doing Topolino Terrace at Riviera. And if we end up doing that, I'll probably just book Topolino and then drive my car over instead of taking the buses because I do not think this goes to the resorts. I think it just goes to the theme parks or Disney Springs and then you connect to Disney Springs and from Disney Springs and go to the resort. So it'd probably be a lot, heck of a lot easier to just book Topolino for dinner. And then from there, take this, do a little Skyliner jaunt around. All right, I'm walking over here to the gift shop. These ducks, I've been seeing a lot of fowl today, but right through here at the artist palette through these doors is also a gift shop. I think I'm gonna get some socks because these are not the most comfortable things without socks. I thought I was gonna strike out on the socks. They did not have a whole pack of them, but they did have the individual ones here. Now I will not be wearing my big brimmed hat into Topolino Terrace. I didn't think that probably would not be appropriate, but the only dress code that they have, I made sure I checked with the dress code, is that you have to not wear bathing suits. So we're gonna be very casual going in there. And I must say, much more comfortable wearing Crocs with socks than they are not with socks on. 
So that's what's happening. Obviously I could probably go back home, get regular shoes. Uh, we're, we're all gonna go full on casual. This is an impulsive trip to Topolino Terrace. All right, have made it over to the Riviera. not be going in and you do not have to go on Guardians of the Galaxy roller coasters. Oh, coaster great. Time. She did that at one time. Oh, it was going to die. <laughs> That's what I like about that. It was the worst ride you ever been on? Yes. Ever. Well, I'm never driving, so I don't know. <laughs> it's no good. Next time you come back, we'll ride it. <laughs> I'd recommend no. Honey, when I got off, there was a, there was, there was a, Wheelchair waiting for this lovely because she had to take her to the hospital. Oh my gosh! I don't, she made that. You, there was not. I, there, there was like a, there really? was somebody. She was, she was passed out almost. Oh my god! Because when I first got off of it, I had to just sit down somewhere, and there Western. was another lady that waiting there, waiting for someone to come and get her uh -huh. because she could not. Get up in oh my God. They should use you and do you. They should use you to do the commercials, Mom, to promote the whole thing. She ain't promoting it. It's a big yo-yo. There's Baloo down there. Last one, you gotta get on and off a lot of these. On our way to Topolino's Terrace, we're gonna be eating right up there. All right, we're in the elevator now. Going to the 10th floor. That chandelier. Yeah, beautiful. I don't think it's called a chandelier, but it's beautiful. All right, we have made it. We are now in Topolino Terrace right now, where they got the napkins here. All the clock napkins, you got a little candle. And this, uh, I don't know what you, this, I guess you could classify that as a chandelier box? Maybe? I don't know what that is. An art piece that has lights. Art piece with lights. All right, looking over the menu here, so you got some starters here. I think for my entree, I'm gonna go with the rigatoni right there the broccolini and all that. And then I think for the table, we're all kind of agreeing on grilled shrimp and Brussels sprouts. Fancy ice cubes there. I got my fancy water. I got my pinky up here. I got my coaster here. And I'm wearing Crocs with socks. It's about as ritzy as it gets. <laughs> we're living high on the hog. All right, the bread has arrived with the olive oil. As she said, these are like miniature baguettes right here. Just tear them apart and go with it there. Let's see. Take a look. There we go. The three rigatonis have arrived. We're all going out, being very daring and all ordering the exact same thing. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we, yeah, we ordered some other things too, but they should bring those out. This is, I don't remember, pasta, braised beef, some cheese, some broccolini, mushrooms. There you go. <laughs> smelling it? I'm smelling it. Yeah. Okay, the shrimp. Okay, thank you. The shrimps have arrived, the Brussels sprouts have also arrived. How is that? Delicious. You like it? Very good. You like it? Love it. It's delicious. We got a lot of Brussels sprouts to consume here, too. Hot? <laughs> the shrimp is very good. The Brussels sprouts are really, really, really good. Seasoning, it makes the food. Yeah. It is bland and 
go in there. Eight what miles. is it? I've probably been redneck. You're yes. gonna be a redneck? Eight. <laughs> what, for dipping, your, dipping it in there? I think Probably it's good. I mean, I'm wearing Crocs, so all bets are off in here. And we ended up finishing up eating, which was on the back side of this. So this is the front side of the Riviera. We were around the back side, but over there is Epcot. So we were over in this section after getting done eating at Topolina Terrace. We ended up stick waiting just for like maybe 20 or 30 minutes and 20 or 30 minutes and then the fireworks were about to start over at Epcot right across the, or right atop of the World Showcase Lagoon. And you could also see off in the distance the fireworks ending from Happily Ever After over at Magic Kingdom. So it was kind of neat to see that off in the distance. And also there were certain points where I shifted the camera and it enables you to see all the way over on the horizon at Hollywood Studios, a Phantasmic that was ending. And also some of the, the pyro that happened above the Chinese theater during the animation projections that they do on that as well. And you know the, the new fireworks show, I believe it's called Luminous over at Epcot pretty awesome they were pipe they were pumping they were pumping the music in to the top of the little terrace the outdoor viewing area and got to watch the whole show my mom and my aunt really enjoyed it they took some photos I got a little video for the for the for the vlog and we just had a we had a good little family time my mom my aunt and myself today swimming fireworks delicious meal they were they really enjoyed the the food we had and uh and the it's just a nice day spending time together all right that's gonna do it for today thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video the vlog is over